Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are in Ormond Beach, Florida. We are at Giant Recreation World and we're about to look at a Cedar Creek Champagne. This is the 38 EKS. So come on, let's get to it. Now, this particular model, this has a drop frame. We've talked about drop frames before. And what's kind of neat about this drop frame, see how the body covers it up? It's got the, the fiberglass body that wraps around so it hides it. So I guess it's a little more uh, aerodynamic, right? But it allows to have a much deeper storage area because you have the drop frame, right? Now, oh, you also have your, your um, controls, if you will, or the bags for your, your vacuum cleaner system. It's, it's got uh, a vacuum cleaner system throughout. Uh, just beautiful storage. On the other side, we'll look at it a little closer, but there's an automatic reel for your power cable. Right, so you just have to put it on there and press a button, it rolls it up for you. So um, before we go any further, I wanna look up here too, cause this is a little bit different, okay? Notice this swings out. It doesn't swing up. Um, it doesn't swing up because there's a slide right here, okay? And so to give you full access, if it went up, it'd have to stop right here and you'd be you know, uncomfortable loading, unloading. Having the door swing, you have full access to get in there, which is awesome. But the other thing I wanted you to look at is right here. On most fifth wheels, your propane's one tank's on this side and one tank's on the other. This one, they're both in one spot, so it's a lot easier to, uh, to deal with, which is kind of cool. Uh, for you pet owners like us, we have our dog, we love it. There's a place to put your pet. Little ring there to put your, your leash, okay? Um, Lisa, if you look up, pan up, this has slides over the awnings, uh, which slides over the, it's got slides over the awnings. Oh my Lord. It's got awnings over the slides. All right. It does have a, a, an awning that covers this whole front part. And then if you can see another awning that covers this back part out here too. So between the two awnings, you have basic full coverage as well as your slides also have awnings on them as well. So it's really cool. Right, nice uh, step above step. We absolutely love that. Okay, come on down here. If you're doing outdoor entertaining, it's got a TV already mounted out here for you in its own separate little cabinet, right? With slam latches, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, and if you look up to frameless windows. We love the frameless windows, okay? Come on to the back, Lisa. So back here, Again, I love, I love the way they're doing the backs now. It's just, it looks like a class A driving down the street. Absolutely amazing. All right, it is, uh, actually it's not pre-wired. It already has a backup camera mounted. There's a ladder already mounted as well. You don't have to worry about that. Now this one does not have an accessory. Oh, it does, it's just well, well hidden. It's hard to see, but up underneath there, there is an accessory hitch back there. So if you want to carry some extra stuff or bikes or kayaks or whatever, there is an accessory rack. So come on, let's keep on going. All right, here's one of your sewer connections right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep on going. Here's your other sewer connection right there, which is awesome. This is where you plug your power in right here, okay? Now this is the other side of the storage we were looking at. It's also your wet bay. And you see the wet bay is a separate compartment, okay? Um, actually, the only thing I don't like about that is actually it is metal, hear it? So if there's any water or condensation that stays in there, that could probably rust over time. So I'd rather see a fiberglass or a plastic or something like that. But I do like that it's a separate compartment, all right? All your, your tank poles are here for flushing, your sewer tanks. Your water connections are all in here. Um, and remember I was talking about your, your uh, power reel for your cable? This is it right here, okay? Now, we did also talk about that both propane tanks were on the other side. What that does is it leaves a spot for your battery. So this is actually a battery compartment. And these are on slides, so you can pull them out to get easier access for them, which is absolutely really neat. Now, you see this? It's, it's your uh, level up system. This has a six point hydraulic level up system and the controls are actually, um, they're right there, but they put the sticker for it right here because it wouldn't fit on the door. 
Now, what I love about this, it is in its own compartment, all right? It's not inside the storage area over there. And so when you're with your truck, trying to put it on or take it off, you, you can see it easily. You're standing right here, which is great. All right, so let's get a little bit closer and take a look at the numbers. All right, this has a gross vehicle weight of 18,510 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity of 3,761 pounds. Okay, so let's come around to the front a little bit, Lisa. This has a really nice upgraded pin box. This is the air ride system. It is really nice. It's gonna make it a nice smooth ride for you guys driving down the road. And as you can see behind here, huge storage compartment. Now this is where you'd uh, put your generator um, if you wanted to add a generator to this. Now if you don't want to add a generator, then it's just storage, okay? This is also where you have your hydraulic pump, your inverter, and, and a bunch of other electronics are sort of in there and that's kind of why it has this separator, okay? So let's go inside. Come on, come on, come on, let's, let's go, let's go, come on. All right, so when you walk right in, you sort of have almost like a little entryway. Come, come on in and turn around a little bit, Lisa. This is sort of a, an interesting little entryway because the stairs to, to get to the bedroom and the bathroom take you that way. And so you have kind of like a little, almost like a foyer, right? Over here, you have some of your controls. Now there are digital features to the coach, so there's actually a digital panel right here, but there's also manual switches for things. So. Um, if you need to do it manual, you can. All right, anyway, back to the living room. So this has three sofas, and, but it's still an open plan. Um, most coaches that have sort of a, a three sofa set up in the middle, it's kind of, seems to be separated from the kitchen. This one has done a great job of sort of combining it all together, okay? So that is a pull out, pulls out into a bed. You've got theater chairs over here and theater chairs here. So you've got four theater chairs and one sort of love seat sofa that, that pulls out into a bed. Uh, that's awesome, right? And if you turn around, huge TV, right? I, I, I'm not sure if it's hard to see because it's got this kind of black wooden backdrop, but the TV is really quite big. Beneath it, your fireplace, uh, wired for audio, that's actually a DVD player as well, so it's connected to the TV if you want to watch DVDs. So. Let's check out the kitchen. That's Lisa's area. Yeah, welcome to the kitchen. Isn't this nice? Yeah. Um, if you notice that the dinette is in between the, the living and, and the kitchen, it's still um, very open. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. It's not separated from everything. No. Robert was mentioning earlier. I love that. Um, so over on this side behind the dinette, we have this huge refrigerator freezer. Yep. Isn't Re that nice? Residential refrigerator. Yes. That's what that inverter was for downstairs. Yes. Yep. Beautiful. Um, tons of counter space in here. Love that. What's that? That's yes. a dishwasher. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's I nice. love dishwashers and RVs, right? That's nice. All right, sorry, I got sidetracked. You were That's talking about okay. the countertop? Yes, I was <laughs> talking about the countertop. Um, and plenty of storage. Yeah, look, look at look how tall. Look at how tall these cabinets are. It's unreal. Are. And look at the detailed ceiling up here. Too. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it really gives it some personality. Now, we're not plugged in, but there's the, this beautiful detail work here. Um, I bet there's I'm some lights sure, behind it. I'm not sure if there's lights behind yeah. it or not, but that's beautiful. I love the detail area. So look at this sink. I love the sink. You've got a lot of people like the, the single basin sink because you have sometimes big pots and pans that you can't wash. This way you can, but then if you need a, a little bit of water, then you can use the smaller side. Yeah. Um, I do like that. Cabinetry above the yeah. sink all over the place. Yeah, it's just, it's, the cabinetry is amazing. Really and again, is. when it comes to detail work, I know the camera's not picking it up, but the glass has this kind of crisscross pattern in it. Um, it. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely. Solid surface countertops, right? Yes, yes. Um, well, Convection is, microwave, we'll leave that alone. Yeah, that's taped. <laughs> it's taped still. That's taped. Um, so we do have a four burner stove here with an oven. Yeah. Again, more cabinetry. Oh, oh this is your pantry. Look yeah. at that. Pull out drawers. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's really, it's beautiful. Yes. And look at this. A little wine fridge. Isn't that cute? That is cool. Yeah, let's see. 
Yeah, you can keep, uh, what, eight bottles in there. Eight, or eight, eight to ten bottles. That's awesome. Wow, this is an amazing kitchen. It really is. Yeah. I love this. Great design. By the way, it's, it's Whisper Quiet AC, right? Ceiling fan up here in the living room, which is awesome. All right. So let's walk up here to the front. Let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for... Tall Man's Toilet Test. Uh, so we are on a porcelain foot flush toilet. Love it. Uh, for those who've never seen our videos before, I am six foot four. That's the name of the channel, Tall Man RV Reviews. So please take my height into reference when you're watching me walk around the RVs and talk about things about height. I'm six foot four. In this case, being six foot four, Look at all this room. I, I mean, I could stretch out in the air. I got left and right room. This is absolutely awesome. So definitely. Now to my right, a very unique double sink setup. It's one sink, but it's got faucets to the left and the right. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Very, very unique, okay? Two mirrors up on top. And as you can see, I you, you can see all of me, which is great. Uh, plenty of storage beneath. I mean, just storage, 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 storage. Plenty of storage, which is great because there's no medicine chest up top. And so you'd have to use some of these drawers for that. And you do have uh, doors to put stuff here as well. All right, now there is also a cabinet over on this side, Lisa. And that's where you put all your towels and things. All right? Excellent. All right, so let's climb in the shower. All right, so we're pretty good. Even when not in the bubble, as you can see, my head is, is I don't know, three-ish inches away, about three inches away from the top, maybe four inches. And so being six foot four, uh, there's plenty of room in here. Now, if you're much taller than that, since the bubble is in the back, you might have a little bit of troubles here, but yeah, this is really good. This is also a really unique design on the base. You see that? That's like a really high-end drain system that you would see in a residential shower. I'm not sure I've seen that in an RV before, okay? Got some shelves for, for your shampoos and things and soap. Plenty of left and right, plenty of front and back. Um, I was able to get in and out of here just fine with the glass doors. Um, I don't like the glass doors very much. We did a video about uh, shower doors. Uh, they're, Links below, links above, just go check that out. But overall, <clears throat> awesome. So let's go check out the bedroom. Come on, really cool, come on. Oh, on the way to the bedroom, look at this. You got wardrobe space in here. It's huge, huge hanging space in here. And then another one over here. Oh, that's a continuation of the first one, right? Just lots of storage space, okay? The reason why that's out there is in the back, you've got a desk, right? So if you're living full time, whether you're working full time from your RV on the road or you got an RV channel and you do a lot of editing like we do. Anyway, there, there's a desk, a dedicated space to doing work, which is awesome. So that's why they have sort of your wardrobe up there because this area that might normally be a wardrobe is a desk, okay? Uh, to the right of the desk, that is a space for a washer dryer combo, which is uh, cool. So um, I would prefer stackable, but the, the combo works. It works fine, all right? Across from all of this, you've got dresser space. There's eight drawers, plenty of space for everything that you need. Now, if you flip around, this is really cool. It's a king bed it's on a slide. So you have plenty of leg room and walking space down here. You could do stretching and yoga down here if you want. Beautiful balances above the windows. Uh, nice headboard, but what is also cool, look at this. For you people who get cold at night, there's a heater, a, a, just a bedroom heater stuck on the wall. So for us, this would be my wife's side because she's always <laughs> cold. All you ladies out there that get cold at night, heater on the wall, all right? <laughs> Guys. Let us know what you think about this model. This is our first time in a Cedar Creek Champagne, right? Great floor plan, great use of space. Uh, the kitchen with these ridiculously tall cabinets, oh my good Lord. 
with the pattern ceiling, uh, the wine fridge, the dishwasher. Guys, I mean, talking about a home away from home, if you wanted to, to sort of uh, go with a different lifestyle, sell the brick and mortar and go mobile, there's nothing in this particular fifth wheel that is not currently in your home. It's got everything. So let us know what you think. If this is the first time that you found our videos, guys, thank you so much. Smash that thumbs up button. We really do appreciate you. And for those tall man clan, God bless you guys. We appreciate you. And until we see you all again, be safe.